So, there I was, just minding my own business scrolling through my writing group's Facebook page. Suddenly, I came across a video one of my fellow members, a guy named Eugene Wick, had posted live from a local bike night. I can't do it justice, so I'll just show you the video first. Majestic, isn't it? My first reaction was, the hell? Followed immediately by, I need to know everything about this contraption right now. So I went and did a little digging, and boy did I turn up a gem. Friends, let me introduce you to the Reno. Produced by a company called Reno Motors out of Portland, Oregon, the Reno is a small, all-electric microcycle designed by an engineer named Chris Hoffman. Apparently Hoffman's young daughter asked him if he could build a one-wheeled motorcycle like the one she saw in a video game. Being a dad and an engineer, his response was, challenge accepted. Six years and three prototypes later, Hoffman rolled out the final product which he describes as a one-wheeled, ultra-efficient, urban personal transportation device of the next generation. Right. I can hear you asking right now. That's great and all, but what is it? Well, let's see. It's kind of a cross between a Segway and that one-wheeled racing bike from Venus Wars. It's a self-balancing, battery-powered electric scooter with one 15-inch motorcycle tire, some handlebars, a couple headlights, a fully sprung suspension, an adjustable seat, and a surprising amount of style. It even has charging ports for your phone. The Renault weighs around 160 pounds and is powered by two electric motors run off a pair of quick-change battery packs. The batteries charge in about 6 hours, and the Renault can travel 15 miles between charges. Is it fast? Not in the least. It has a top speed of around 10 miles per hour. About the speed of a brisk walk. It's definitely more suited to dense urban areas and traffic-choked streets rather than the open road which makes sense since it's sort of descended from the Segway for the same uses. It's at least cooler looking than a Segway, and I would give an approaching security guard at least a small nod as he whizzed by on one. From what I could tell, the Reno isn't available yet due to some issues with the patent that held up production for a couple of years. There were also apparently issues with rights and some Chinese knockoffs. In a statement on the company's Facebook page, Hoffman said that they'd gotten all the problems straightened out and that rhinos should be appearing on the street pretty soon. Being a huge nerd like I am, I'd love to see these things succeed. There's something both awesome and ridiculous about the Reno and I kind of love it. Who knows, maybe Voltheads will start buying them and slapping Tesla motors in them or something. <laughs>